Friday, we dropped our first ever 12 News I-Team docu-series, Quarter Mile, Who Killed Adrian? And the reaction has been better than we hoped. Team 12's William Pitts worked on this project for two years, and he's here with more on that. William? Yeah, guys, we've had thousands of people watch this documentary so far, and they've reached out online on Reddit. They've sent uh, their tips and their questions in online on the form that we've got. People weighing in, wanting to know more about the death of Adrian Salinas. Now, the 19-year-old went missing in June of 2013 after she called the cab to take her to her boyfriend's house. Her body was found two months later, 30 miles away. I remember Adrian. You just remember her. She's stunning. She just got out of the car in the middle of the conversation. She just hopped out without saying anything. She just disappeared in the air. I said she's gone, isn't she? And she goes, yes. It was a big story. It was a huge story when it first happened. He's under investigation for murder, and he's a mile away from our case. Somebody had mentioned the name Adrian Salinas in the crowd. We're at the corner just where uh, Adrian lives. Obviously, we've looked at his criminal history. Does that mean you found her? I hope you did. No one in this case has a good alibi. And the entire docuseries is online at 12news.com slash Salinas. Those questions and tips are actually helping us decide what we're going to cover next. We did a Reddit AMA, which I'm told, I'm sorry, I'm not a Reddit person. It stands for <laughs> Ask Me Anything. Right. We got some really good questions and tips. Uh, one of the questions was why it took so long to get all this information out. We asked and we answered that question. We also got a question about Adrian's cell phone, uh, what police knew about it, where it is, and what kind of location data they have on that. We'll be doing that uh, coming up in two Fridays. All right. And there's more information online. Too, right? There is. We posted some other uh, things. If you wanted to really take a deep dive into this case, we've got an interactive map. We've got an interactive timeline. You can go through the case, kind of walk yourself through and see everything that we have on 12news.com again slash Salinas. Before I let you go, Will, I mean, how has this process been? You know, the fact gathering is always the same in that process, but the afterwards, have you felt like viewers and people that have seen this online have been much more interactive in the process? Uh, very much so. Um, I'm, I was kind of surprised at how many people have yeah. stayed with the entire th process and then wanted more information. I mean, this is not a short project, so you'd think right. after a long period of time, people would kind of move on, but no, they're, they're staying with it, they're being engaged, and they're still asking us questions, which is nice because it drives us forward right. yeah. and kind of lets us know where people would like us to go and what we should look at. Yeah, I had the chance to watch the amazing work, so I mean, I really think it's the future of news, you know, to be this interactive, so thanks a lot. We appreciate it.